So I know a lot of the people who are interested in the CB AppBot framework really aren't experienced developers who are familiar with concepts like version control and how to integrate with this and all that sort of stuff. So what I wanted to show off in this video was how to clone the repository and sort of what cloning is. Um, this two ways basically to download a copy of the contents of the repository that is download the actual framework with everything that you can use the most straightforward but least useful way to do this is to just download the most recent version as a zip archive you unpack the archive afterwards and then the files are there you can integrate with them not really all that powerful because you can't update from the repository. You have to go back to the GitHub website and download the zip again and replace everything. And it's just, it's probably not what you want to do. Uh, that's where cloning comes in. Cloning actually makes a copy of the repository itself instead of just the files that are within it. Now, GitHub has a nice little thing here where you can copy the text here right to the clipboard buffer uh, but the normal copy method also works now i'm going to show two ways to actually clone this um, the first we'll just do the command line these instructions basically apply to windows linux os x all that stuff uh, as long as you have the git command line installed on your system this will work I find it best to navigate to the directory you want to create this in first. So I'm going to create this on the desktop, and then it's just git clone, paste in the directory name, and then write in the name of the directory you want, or paste in the repository name, rather. And then I put in the, uh, the directory name where you want to create this. Now, as you can see, I already have the CB AppBots framework directory there. Uh, so I'm just going to give it a new name, CB Stuff. And it creates that directory along with everything inside of it. So this is all good to go. Now I'm going to delete this and show the other method. This is a little bit more Windows specific, although similar tooling exists for others. And this is with Tortoise Git, which I find quite useful, mostly just for the markers that it adds on top of things, the overlays. Um, but the, it, it, it's a very useful tool. So if we go to Git clone, uh, it's generally pretty good about uh, copying over the first thing from the clipboard buffer. Uh, so if you've copied the, the GitHub uh, repository name, um, it should already appear here, but if not, you just paste it in there. And then we're just going to change this to CB stuff again. The rest of this, don't really worry about changing these. These are fine. You shouldn't need to touch them. Just hit OK. And just like before, it'll clone it over with everything inside. So that's it. You should be good to go with all of this. Uh, what I would. Yeah, that was odd. Um, what I would. What I will do next time is a little bit of a tutorial on how to actually integrate with this. Uh, but for now, just some instructions on how to clone it. Uh, it should be enough to get you started.